Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Shifkumar and in today's video I want to try and use the ORCAT package. So I've been doing a lot of introduction on how to use different simulation packages and I started off with ADS, uh, Keysight ADS to figure out you know how you can design simul uh, do some basic uh, circuit simulations like RLC. I used LT Spice. Uh, I used uh, hyperlinks from Siemens, uh, which was Mentor Graphics. And now let's try, you know, Cadence or CAD. Now, uh, when it comes to PCB design, I generally like using, you know, uh, um, Altium. And uh, the closest competitor for Altium is Orcad um, um, uh, and Allegro for uh, schematic and uh, PCB capturing. And generally, when you go to like different manufacturers, like for example, NXP or even Texas Instruments or um, Microchip, if I'm not mistaken, um, if you look at, if you want to buy any of the development boards and you download their uh, files, a lot of their files will be designed uh, and you want to look at the hardware files and how they design the PCB, uh, the schematic and the PCB layout. Uh, many times it is in ORCAD, they use ORCAD. Uh, and there's some companies that use Altium as well. Uh, for example, Nordic Simi, um, and uh, I guess even some uh, some design files from Texas Instruments as well. So what I'm trying to get at is that this software tool uh, provides uh, a lot of capabilities. So Cadence is one of those tools where you can do the schematic capture, you can do simulations, you can do the PCB layout. Uh, you can do signal integrity analysis. You can do power integrity analysis all in one package. And of course, these are all add-ons and modules. Uh, so it really gives you a full ecosystem for a complete electrical design, right from schematic capture to PCB layout. And, you know, you get the whole nine yards. Uh, and in today's video, I want to talk about PSPICE, the simulation tool, uh, which is, you know, another handy feature when you're designing these circuits. Uh, this is something that is uh, that lacks when you when you compare it to Altium, where Altium is purely a schematic and a PCB layout tool. Um, ORCAD has got a lot more capabilities uh, in terms of features, especially when it comes to uh, just simulation. And that's what we're going to try today: uh, is try to use the PSPICE uh, simulation uh, in order for us to say simulate an RLC circuit and see how you know user uh, friendly it is and how easy it is to get it set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say click file new uh, project um, and I'm going to name this project say um, uh, RLC. Uh, I'm going to choose my folder and I'm just going to uh, create a new folder. And I'm going to select the folder. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to say enable piece by simulation, create a baseboard upon an existing project uh, and click OK. All right. Uh, and now um, it's already created this uh, folder structure over here. So in here it's created my schematic and I'm asked it to create a template. It's got some PCB, uh, the piece by resources and their layout. So as I mentioned, in this folder structure, you could have your, your schematic and you would have the ability to simulate as well as create the layout from it. So it's very, um, it's all in one basically. Right now we're just gonna create a small little schematic and uh, and simulate it. So uh, I like to start off with an RLC circuit. It's a very dynamic circuit. It's a very useful circuit. It's a lot of analysis. It's got all three um, major components that describe uh, the lump circuit model basically. So let's get started. So in here, I'm gonna use the PSPICE uh, power source. So I'm gonna use source. Uh, source. Uh, let's use a, a stimulus source. I'm going to use a clock. And in here, I'm just going to use a, a basic digital clock. So you double click on that and then you can drag it to the screen. All right. And click escape to escape from uh, that particular component. And then I'm going to add an RLC so I can go to passive. So passive is the passive components. Uh, I'm going to add a capacitor, a general purpose capacitor. And here's where you can select all your purpose, uh, your capacitors. I'm going to select a general purpose capacitor. 
you double click on it and then control R to rotate it and I'm just going to attach it to ground over you. Okay. And I'm going to add an inductor. So after a capacitor, you would have uh, an inductor. I'm just going to pick a general purpose inductor once again. And I'm just going to scroll down. They've got different values, different components. And these are real, I mean, these are real part numbers, but I'm just going to go right down and click a general purpose inductor over here. Double click on it. It's there. And I'm just going to attach it to uh, this over here. And then finally, I'm going to put a resistor. Uh, and I'm just going to put a general purpose resistor. A general purpose resistor. Yeah, and there we go. And in order for me to draw wires, I'm just going to click on this icon over here and connect this to this, connect this to this, and connect this to this. Perfect. Let's change some values. Let's basically, uh, you know what? Let's simulate this and see what, what, what we have over here. Uh, but before that, I want to make sure there's no errors. So this is what we have. In terms of interface and schematic, um, especially if I look, if I'm using this as a design tool, I like my Altium um, interface. Uh, I'm able to use my 3D mouse. Uh, in this particular case, I've not actually made any settings, but I'll figure that out shortly. Um, this is my uh, clock um, features. I'm going to basically put a 0 0.1 delay so we can see the stepped response. Uh, I'm going to put this on time to basically 100 microseconds. Or 10 microseconds 10 microseconds and uh, off time can be there start interval all right uh, and to simulate I can go to pspice and then click uh, edit simulation profile and uh, we're going to do an analysis for uh, we'll put bias points but we can do uh, time domain transients for 100 nanosecond I'm going to click apply I'm going to click OK and I'm going to basically run. And as you can see, it's basically showing nothing. And the reason being why it's showing nothing is because I have no probes. So simulated with the voltage. So let's put some probes. In order for that, I can just click this voltage over here. And I am going to basically put one right in here. And I'm going to put one right around here. All right, so one input and one output. And now let's look at our uh, simulation. And here you can see it's showing 2.5 millivolts. So there's something that doesn't make sense. And let's try to debug uh, what's really going on. So this is the bias.data. Uh, so, so the on time is 0. Point so, so, okay, so this is where I've not put the units. So I'm going to put this as, say, nanoseconds or 0 0.1 uh, microseconds. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to run this again. So the units are important in any simulation tool. Uh, if you don't put the uni units, it seems to not necessarily know what, what needs to be done. And let's see if that makes a difference. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I can see the step response and I can definitely see the transients. Now the RC time constant is definitely big because my R over here is uh, 1K. So let's change this to 50, 50 ohms. That will reduce the time constant. I have this as one nanoseconds and that's fine. And let me change this to a 0 0.1. I shouldn't be... Uh, I could change this this way, uh, or I could double click on the schematic itself. And put here as uh, maybe. Hundred micro Henry. I'm just going to click OK. 
and in terms of my yeah and just run the simulation again and here you can see it's now starting to ring uh so it's going from 0 0.1 nanosecond and it's most likely going to go it's going all the way to one uh, microsecond so let me try to increase the increase the time uh, simulation so instead of 100 nanoseconds let's put 1000 nanoseconds let's put it to uh i'm just going to increase it to a uh, hundred thousand and now let's run and now you can look at the ringing or the oscillations uh so let's do till uh so now because this is the step response so here we have a 50 ohm resistor with a one nanosecond uh um capacitor so what i'm going to do is i am going to decrease the time constant so instead of for one nanosecond i am going to put this as um, 0 0.1 a nano 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 farad and then go to p spice and then run so this should give me uh it's dying down a lot more uh and then uh, what i'll do is uh I am going to basically put the on time to 100 nanoseconds so that we just have a nice little step response. And now let's have a look. And it's dying around 20 microseconds. So let's have a, let's simulate for 20 microseconds. So I'm going to put this over here and then put this as 20 microseconds. So, um, 20 microseconds and then click OK and now let's run boom uh, I really like the graphical interface and the way it works um, it's a it's a nice little graphic thing now you can really see that this is a really choppy um, the uh, graph looks a little you know it's you can really see the step response. Let's try to make it a little smoother. And it's pretty fast. As, I mean, my, as far as I'm concerned, the simulation is pretty fast. In order for us to make it a lot more smoother, that means we need to uh, change the step time. And what I'm going to do over here for the step time, I'm going to uh, put this at start serving. So there's a maximum step size over here. I'm going to put this as uh, at, uh, so this is 10. So I'm just going to put this as 0. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine micro microseconds or um, just click apply. So it's 10 raised to minus nine. So it's going to be a lot more smoother. Uh, let's go to space spice and run. I will take a little bit more time. And it's getting a lot smoother compared to uh, what it was before. Uh, and if I make it even, uh, even, even smaller, let's see. And it's taking around four seconds. Uh, so if I can go over here and make it even smoother, run simulation. Ah, I should edit the steps time. I made a mistake. We'll what we'll do is we'll make it damp it a little bit. And in order for us to damp it, we can you know reduce the. Uh, or increase the uh, nano henry uh, so what i'm going to do is put up piece by i'm going to go to edit simulation i am going to make this even smoother and then let's see how it how it how it how it basically is able to uh simulate so it's analyzing and yeah, now it's taking a long, a lot longer because uh, the step time is uh, very, very small. It's almost 10 raised to minus 12. Um, so it's, yeah. So yeah, it's going to be a lot smoother and it's going to take uh, uh, quite a bit of time. So as you can see, I have been playing around with this and you can, it's, it's a, it's a very, um, it's a very powerful, uh, um, micro, uh, what do you say, uh, PCB schematic capture software. 
So it's taking a little long time. I'm going to stop the simulation. Yeah, I'm just going to say use your data points to uh, show the full thing. Um, and um, this is what we actually had um, kind of simulated. So let's play around with the circuit a little, a little bit. So what I'm going to do is make this a zero point, uh, maybe a 10 micro Henry. And let's do a piece spice and uh, well, I'm all right. I need to stop this. Uh, go to P spice and go to edit simulation. Uh, let's not put this too big. I think we don't need that many points. We don't need it to be too smooth because it's going to take the simulation is going to take a long time. And you, you can see it's uh, the ringing is uh, there's a huge it's a step input of five volts is suddenly you know ringing quite a bit. Uh, let's put this. Uh, to four microseconds, so uh, I can go to send simulation, edit profile, uh, put this at four microseconds, click OK, and uh, run. So yeah, here you have it. Uh, this is P Spice. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I am really enjoying the way uh, everything works in here. It's a very um, elegant software. It's a very elegant software uh, so far. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's something that I really want to explore. So amongst ADS, amongst hyperlinks and uh, cadence and uh, and then of course, there are other electromagnetic simulation software like from ANSYS. Uh, there is PSIM for power electronics. There is, um, I believe, the Saber RD, which is also something that does with power electronics. Uh, there is uh, eSIM, uh, which is a simulation tool that is provided um, by uh, it's Oasis eSIM that um, Microchip provides f uh, a feature of it for simulating their components and so does analog devices. So that's something that you might want to check out or something that I might, you know, do a video on. Uh, so there's a free version on that on their website that uh, uses that uses the Oasis e simulator, but it only works on uh, analog devices components or microchip uh, components based on um, the file that you download from their website. So I'm going to use all these different um, these are all different tools to help you design better. And as far as I'm concerned, they really help because uh, when you start to create all these PCBs and you're using some of these components, uh, you really want to simulate and make sure that first and foremost is performing the way you want. So that means the schematic should be right. And second and foremost, uh, is your layout good? Like I'm having layout issues with say my motor driver and how can I simulate for signal integrity and power and integrity uh, and make sure that all the signals and all the traces are robust, uh, reliable so that when I ship my product, uh, you know, it's uh, going to be, there's not going to be too many hardware bugs because I've simulated. And, uh, and if there are hardware bugs, um, they let there be minimum. Uh, and so that's the reason why I'm exploring all of these softwares. And uh, and I also, you know, would like to show you an introduction so that if you want to try these softwares out, it's really easy to get started. So that's all I have for today. Uh, and until next time, do subscribe to the video, do like the video. Uh, it really helps me, motivates me, you know, to just uh, sh showcase, you know, how and how I'm progressing. Uh, and uh, And until next time, stay safe. Thank you.